Welcome back to the Go Engineer channel. My name is Rodolfo. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change PDM data cards in an existing vault. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So to get started, I'm going to show you how a data card gets assigned to a file type in a specific folder inside the vault. Um, so you can understand what we need to do to change it to a new data card. So if you open up the data card for that specific file type, you'll see that in the file extension section, there is that file type extension. So it's SLDPRT in my case. That is essentially how the system knows what data card to display for that given file type. Now I say uh, in a specific folder because you can have multiple data cards for a given file type in the vault, just not in the same folder at once. Okay, so for example, I can assign a different data card for the testing folder, a different data card for the slider folder, and so on and so forth for the same part files. So how do we change the data card uh, for this file type uh, in the same directory? So it's really quite simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import a new data card for part files. Now, uh, you could do this another way. You could also uh, duplicate this existing file card and then modify it and you know optimize it and change it however you want. You can create a new data card and, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to steal the file extension from the original data card onto our new one. I already have a, a data card for part files that has the SLDPRT extension. So when I import it, it's automatically going to grab that file extension and make the new data card the default one. Okay, uh, but if you create a new one, you'll have to change the file extension and then it'll grab it from the original data card. So I'm going to open up the new data card. Once it has been imported, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop it to my file cards node and you can see that it is now listed here. Okay. In parentheses is the file extension. So as you can see, it grabbed it from the original data card and now it brought it over to the new card. So here I showed you the original data card, but by simply clicking in another part file, you see that the new data card is being displayed. Okay. So I'm going to do that again live so you can see how easy it is to change from one data card to another. Okay. So I'm going to open up the original, the old data card, and I'm going to put type in here SLD PRT without any periods or spaces or annotations, and I'm going to save it. Save it. I'm going to close it. And then you can see that the SLD PRT file extension is now in the original data card. Okay. And you can see it went back to the original data card. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. This is Rodolfo Gutierrez signing off. Bye for now.